Welcome to the Eternal Bible Quiz YouTube channel. You are on your way to experience a journey of deep exploration of the Bible with us. Today we will delve into the key highlights of the New Testament and the Old Testament. Through 21 quiz questions, you'll have the chance to test your knowledge of significant events, characters, and teachings, while also gaining a deeper understanding of the Bible's content and meaning. Get ready to illuminate the connection between the New and Old Testaments and strengthen your faith through these challenging and meaningful questions. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos from us. For now, let's get started. Question 1. Who were praying and singing hymns to God when suddenly there was an earthquake which freed them from prison? A. Paul and Timothy B. Paul and Barnabas. C. Paul and Silas. D. Paul and Philemon. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C. Paul and Silas. Explaining in the Bible, Acts chapter 16, verse 25. 26 in King James Version states, And at midnight Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God, and the prisoners heard them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone's bands were loosed. Question 2. When the prodigal son had wasted all his money, what job did he take up? A. Shepherd B. Collector C. Swineherd D. Fisherman You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C, swineherd, explaining in the Bible, Luke chapter 15, verse 14, 15 in King James Version states, And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in that land, and he began to be in want. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into his fields to feed swine. Question 3. In the book of Genesis, who was the first child born in the Bible? A. Abel B. Seth C. Enosh D. Cain You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter D. Cain, explaining in the Bible, Genesis chapter 4, verse 1 in King James Version states, And Adam knew Eve his wife, and she conceived, and bore Cain, and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. Question 4. During the transliguration, who appeared to Jesus and the three disciples? A. Abraham and David. B. Enoch and Solomon. C. Moses and Elijah. D. Adam and Noah. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C. Moses and Elijah. Explaining in the Bible. Mark chapter 9 verse 4. 5 in King James Version states, and there appeared unto them Elijah with Moses, and they were talking with Jesus. And Peter answered and said to Jesus, Master, it is good for us to be here, and let us make three tabernacles, one for thee, and one for Moses, and one for Elijah. Question 5. In the parable of the laborers in the vineyard, how much was each person paid to work? A. Ten pence. B. 50 pence. C. 100 pence. 
D, one pence. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter D, one pence, explaining in the Bible, Matthew chapter 20, verse 9, 10 in King James Version states, And when they came that were hired about the eleventh hour, they received every man a penny. But when the first came, they supposed that they should have received more, and they likewise received every man a penny. Question 6. What is the name of Jesus' cousin, born six months before him? A. John the Baptist B. Peter C. Joseph D. James You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter A, John the Baptist, explaining in the Bible, Luke chapter 1 verse 36, in King James Version states, And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month with her, who was called barren. Question 7. What is the common name given to the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples? A. The Disciples' Prayer B. The Believer's Prayer C. The Our Father D. The Savior's Prayer You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C. The Our Father, explaining in the Bible, Matthew chapter 6, verse 8, 9 in King James Version states, Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your Father knoweth what things ye have need of before ye ask him. After this manner therefore pray ye, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Question 8. What did Felix hope to receive from Paul? A. A confession. B. A promise. C. A blessing. D. A bribe. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter D. A bribe. Explaining in the Bible, Acts chapter 24 verse 26 in King James Version states, he hoped also that money should have been given him of Paul, that he might loose him, wherefore he sent for him the more often and communed with him. Question 9. What was the name of the place where God tested Abraham by asking him to sacrifice his son Isaac? A. Moriah B. Hebron C. Sinai D. Bethel you have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter A, Moriah, explaining in the Bible, Genesis chapter 22, verse 2 in King James Version states, And he said, Take now thy son, thine only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains which I will tell thee of. Question 10. In the book of Genesis, who was the first person to build an altar in the Bible? A. Noah B. Abraham C. Isaac D. Adam, you have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter A, Noah, 
explaining in the Bible. Genesis chapter 8 verse 20 in King James Version states, And Noah built an altar unto the Lord, and took of every clean beast and of every clean fowl, and offered burnt offerings on the altar. Don't forget to count your correct guesses. Question 11. Who was the first person to commit polygamy? A. Cain. B. Abraham. C. Isaac. D. Limec. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter D, Lamech, explaining in the Bible, Genesis chapter 4, verse 19, 20 in King James Version states, And Lamech took unto him two wives, the name of the one was Ada, and the name of the other Zillah. And Ada bore Jabal, he was the father of such as dwell in tents, and of such as have cattle. Question 12. Who was the first person to plant a vineyard in the Bible? A. Noah B. Abraham C. Isaac D. Adam You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter A. Noah, explaining in the Bible. Genesis chapter 9, verse 20. 21 in King James Version states, And Noah began to be an husbandman, and he planted a vineyard. And he drank of the wine and was drunken, and he was uncovered within his tent. Question 13. The Word was made flesh and dwelt where? A. In the temple. B. Among us. C. In the wilderness. D. In heaven. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B. Among us. Explaining in the Bible. John chapter 1 verse 14 in King James Version states, and the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Question 14. What was the color of the robe placed on Jesus? A. Red B. White C. Purple D. Blue You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C, purple. Explaining in the Bible, John chapter 19 verse 2 in King James Version states, And the soldiers plaited a crown of thorns and put it on his head, and they put on him a purple robe and said, Hail, King of the Jews! And they smote him with their hands. Question 15. What does Jesus say that the meek shall inherit? A. The treasure of heaven. B. The earth. C. The throne of God. D. Everlasting life. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B. The earth. Explaining in the Bible, Matthew chapter 5 verse 5 in King James Version states, Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Question 16. How many times did Jesus say you should forgive your brother when he sins against you? A. 70 times 7. B. 12 times. 
C. Three times. D. Seven times. You have ten seconds. The right answer is letter A, 70 times 7, explaining in the Bible, Matthew chapter 18, verse 21. 22 in King James Version states, Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me, and I forgive him till seven times? Jesus saith unto him, I say not unto thee until seven times, but until seventy times seven. Question 17. Which figure brought grace and truth into the world? A. John B. The Apostles C. Jesus Christ D. Moses You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C, Jesus Christ, explaining in the Bible. John chapter 1 verse 17 in King James Version states, For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Question 18. For how many years was the paralyzed Aeneas in bed? A. 12 B. 18 C. 38 D. 8 You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter D. 8 Explaining in the Bible, Acts chapter 9, verse 32. 33 in King James Version states, and it came to pass, as Peter passed throughout all quarters, he came down also to the saints which dwelt at Lydda. And there he found a certain man named Aeneas, which had kept his bed eight years, and was sick of the palsy. Question 19. What did Jesus tell the twelve to shake off their feet if people refused to hear the gospel message? A. Dust. B. Feathers C. Hay D. Spiders You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter A, dust, explaining in the Bible. Mark chapter 6 verse 11 in King James Version states, And whosoever shall not receive you nor hear you when ye depart thence, shake off the dust under your feet for a testimony against them. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. Question 20. Who sent for Peter after seeing a vision of an angel? A. Philip B. Cornelius C. Ananias D. Barnabas You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B. Cornelius, explaining in the Bible, Acts chapter 10, verse 3, verse 5 in King James Version states, He saw in a vision evidently about the ninth hour of the day an angel of God coming into him and saying unto him, Cornelius, and now send men to Joppa and call for one Simon, whose surname is Peter. Question 21. In the parable of the Pharisee and the tax collector, how often did the Pharisee fast? A. Once a week. B. Twice a week. C. Once a month. D. Every day. You have 10 seconds.
The right answer is letter B, twice a week. Explaining in the Bible, Luke chapter 18, verse 11. 12 in King James Version states, The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank thee that I am not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican. I fast twice in the week. I give tithes of all that I possess. Thank you for joining us on Bible Quiz Channel. Comment and let us know how many questions you answered correctly. Invite your loved ones and friends to join us in exploring the depths of the Bible together. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated with our latest videos. See you on our next journey. Goodbye, and remember, sharing knowledge is truly wonderful.